For me, I'm going to have a look around my dream boat, a Halberg Rassi 50. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Okay, this is a Halberg Rassi 50 foot center cockpit. You can see at the bottom here, you have quite a wide transom bathing platform and a step ladder, swim ladder down here at the bottom. That was nice and easy. There's also a step up here, which makes things very, very simple. This is the first time I've actually ever seen a Halberg Rassi in the flesh. Uh, but you have these beautiful windows and opening hatches. They're all flush hatches. And this particular owner has chosen teak all the way around. So you have teak inside the cockpit and teak all the way around here. Once again, unfortunately guys, really, really sorry. Um, there are very deep storage compartments here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get them open. There are a lot of owner boats here at the show. So, spare anchor and rope, which goes pretty far back. And that is repeated over in that corner. Let's take a walk forward before we go into the cockpit. Have huge Lumar winch here and steps for ease up into the cockpit. Spray hood with grab handles all the way along and a real glass screen to the windscreen. Deck's a little bit wet. Along the front here you've got Genoa tracks and solar panels, flexi solar panels on the co coach roof and a hydraulic um, boom support, boom bang, whatever you want to call it. This particular boat is fitted out with a full carbon three spreader mast in furling mainsail and a carbon boom it's fantastic it looks really really great everything's electronic on this boat you have steel rod rigging got your bowsprit here but the actual ankle barrel roll has been taken off um, for some reason. I don't know why, I shall ask in a minute. And here it comes down into a chain locker. Your windlass is all electric. You have your foot controls there, up and down, and a built-in electric furler. And here is your windlass chain locker and I'm pretty sure if I wanted to I could actually get down in there and a fresh water hose to clean this all off excuse me while I close this leave everything as we found it let's take a look aft at this fantastic boat it's, I can't express to you actually how big and high out of the water we are. You have your mainsail sheet there, winch, and your twin helm positions. It's, I'm trying not to move the camera too much. 
Over on the starboard side, you have electronic engine controls, your autopilots, repeaters, electric switches, switches for sorting out your anchor, for lifting it up and down. Um, you have bow and stern thrusters for ease of maneuvering. And once again, you have all your navigation and so on here. And that is repeated over on the port side. Repeater, have your navigation and all your electronics for your main cell, your Genoa, Code Zero, reefing, everything. It's all touch button, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's a huge amount of space in this cockpit. And as you can see, I'm sat by the helm. You can see all the way forward. This um, gadget over here is controls for the hydraulics, for your backstays, um, for the masts, the boom bang and, and all that sort of stuff. So you can see your pressures and, and so on there. Going to come forward into the cockpit seating area. You have yet again your Raymarine navigations there, repeaters and compass. Coming up into the forward VIP cabin. This is somewhere I'd like to be. I'd love to be a guest on somebody who owns a Halberg Rassi. You have a large double island bed. All throughout this boat, you'll see the, this great LED mood lighting. Uh, it really helps set the boat off. All the wood is hand finished, everything. The, even the details from where the door closes to come around here, everything's smoothed off, everything's rounded off. Your light switches, air conditioning controls, we'll come and have a look. You have a large hanging locker there with heating so you can dry, close out if need be. There is storage down in here. And uh, again, once again, the finish is European oak. There's grab rails. I don't know if you'll be able to pick up the curve of the rail there. Once again, safety at sea. Everything's nicely curved off. You have these beautiful windows for when you wake up in the morning. And over on this side of the boat, you have more storage. Once again, another ventilated cupboard and a through hole and access to something to do with the solar panels. Not very technical, terribly sorry about that. And another beautiful view out the window. The Yet another 
bedroom. This would be great if you had kids. And once again, I'd be happy to sleep in here too. You have sockets and charging sockets. There's this mood lighting throughout. Storage, 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 and more ventilated storage. An opening hatch up here and a small ventilator. Durard and some hanging space for all your clothes. We'll close the door here. The show already, it's very early in the morning and the show already is getting very, very busy. Just on the opposite side of this bedroom, Hi everyone, you have a walk-in shower, self-draining. Just close these Perspex doors off, they lock back while you're underway. As you can see up here, very good. Stop things rattling around. I'm gonna step in the shower. I think you could fit two people in the shower, it's big enough and you have your automatic electric flushing toilet there and ventilation to let all the steam out and so on. Corion work surface. There's oodles of storage behind the cupboards. You have access under the sink with more storage your water pipe connections and through holes and so on and pump. Take a look, come and step out from. Sorry about this. In the salon, you have a large table. There is storage all under the seats. And under here, you could fit 12 around this table. I'm not exaggerating. You could fit 12 around this table easily. And over this side, you have two comfortable armchairs with drink storage. Um, they actually hinge forward. There's more storage behind and storage all the way along the top here. You have opening vents forward, up above. And I'm going to have to speed this up. Here, along here, there's a television that comes up on hydraulics. And once again, more, there is storage everywhere. I can't tell you how much storage is on this boat. There are handy little drawers for all your knickknacks, spares, pens, bits and pieces on what is a proper, proper nav desk. There's a two-seater seat here. This pops up. They've got all their files on here, so I won't pop it up. Once again, yet again, you have your repeaters, your Raymarine nav, your repeaters and alarms, all your switches over here and for water tank, fuel tank, radio, VHF is tucked away. I'll step back so you can have a look. How's that? Fantastic. Bookshelf. There is ventilation everywhere. This boat, hanging locker. And this boat set up with aircon, heating. Your engine is under here and I can't access that at the moment. So we'll go back. Coming into the owner's master suite, you have a full island queen berth. When we came aboard, these are those aft windows you saw. This one opens up fully for ventilation. You have ventilation over on this side and in the owner's bathroom. 
great port lights. Ventilation up over this side. And I'm really going to run out of batteries. Really sorry, guys. Huge storage locker. There is storage behind the door. I'll mention every time you open a cupboard, a light comes on, so you can always see what you're doing. There is storage down in here, up along on these cupboards, storage down beside the bed, a beautiful vanity suite for Madame or Monsieur. It's entirely up to you. And an ensuite owner.